Boston Pediatric Residency Program. We hope that this video will give you a little bit of a glimpse at our program and that if you are in, currently in medical school and interested in a pediatric residency program, it might actually, actually pique your interest in our program. The Nassim Pediatric Residency Program offers residents a really unique opportunity that we don't think is available in other schools. Residents who are completing their, their residency training at Nassim have the opportunity to train in Northern Ontario with community consulting pediatricians. And it's in the community where the majority of Canadian children actually receive their medical care. So our residents are learning firsthand what it's like to provide care for children in the environment that most children receive it. In addition to this, our residents have the opportunity to do all the subspecialty and acute care rotations that they would get in another residency program. In our case, this occurs at the Children's Hospital of Eastern Ontario in Ottawa. For residents who are interested in a career in general pediatrics, we think that NOSM actually provides an ideal environment for learning to be a general consulting pediatrician. As I mentioned earlier, our residency program takes place in the community where most children receive their general pediatric care. And so you're learning um, in the environment that you would ultimately be working. For those, however, who want to do a subspecialty, you still get a great um, background in the subspecialties and in general pediatrics, which will serve subspecialists well. One of the great strengths of the program is that residents train both at large major centers like the world-class Children's Hospital Ontario, but also at multiple northern sites. In this way, you get all the benefits that you would and all the connections that you make by being at a larger center, but also all the uh, advantages of uh, learning and being in a one-on-one -on -one, uh, mentorship relationship with preceptors in the north where you get to see a lot and do a lot, often earlier. I find with those, you get an opportunity to really feel like I get to see these patients and they're my patients and you see them in the hospital and you'll see them in the clinic and you get to do a lot because it's just you and the staff and you get like this personal experience with staff in which your training is important to them. Like, really make you feel like you belong there and that they want you there and that they want you in these communities. And I think that additional experience is just amazing. And I think that it being a young program, it really does have a lot of opportunity to Kind of step up and improve the program and there are a lot of leadership roles that can be taken on even from uh, as a junior resident which isn't always the case when you're going into a larger pediatric training program. I didn't find the adjustment that difficult and I was actually very pleasantly surprised at how easy it was. I found the program to be very receptive and responsive to resident concerns and needs. Uh, I feel that they're um, very interested in not just how my learning is progressing, but in, in, in that of achieving work-life balance too. We do travel more than residents from some other programs, and sometimes we get questions about that. Uh, the program is great and they cover all the travel costs, uh, and they do a good job of minimizing unnecessary travel too and in a way you get the best of both worlds. So last year I was in beautiful Thunder Bay for the summer and fall and then Ottawa in the winter and spring, so it was perfect. Um, so the program funds all your travel for academic events, they fund all the plane tickets, gas, hotels, etc. when you're traveling between sites for rotations. Um, they also you know, understand that it's, a, it's hard to be away from your home site so you know your family is living in Thunder Bay or Sudbury or North Bay, then you're away at Shio for 60% of the time. So every two months that you spend in Ottawa, the program actually pays for you to fly back and you know spend that weekend with your family. Uh, so very common question I get uh, from friends, family when they hear about me moving around Northern Ontario to Ottawa is, where do you live? <laughs> so. You do have your home base in a northern community. For me, that's Sudbury, and I have uh, my apartment here in Sudbury, and then when I am anywhere outside of my home base, whether that's somewhere else in the north, such as the Sioux, Thunder Bay, Sioux Lookout, or when I'm in Ottawa, Nassim does provide housing for you. And so it's furnished housing. You don't really have to worry about the stress of finding somewhere else to live. It's all arranged for you. Uh, 
Uh, so we do have a lot of supports in place in our program. We're a small program, so we do definitely look out for each other. Um, we do have a lot of mentorship, formal and informal. So every first year resident is assigned a staff mentor, but also a senior uh, resident buddy who their role is really to check in, see how things are going, help with the adjustment between medical school and residency because it is a big adjustment. And uh, when we're in Ottawa, we are doing mostly subspecialty rotations, NICU, ICU, ward coverage, night float. Um, and so we do have a lot of support uh, from the program director in Ottawa, uh, Dr. Ryder, who really does help make sure that we're a part of their program. Our program director is also very supportive of us while we're away from the north and in our Ottawa rotations to make sure that we do get the most out of those rotations. We really love having the Nossum residents spend time with us in Ottawa. Uh, I hope that they feel as though they fit seamlessly into the resident environment as well as the hospital environment. I think that from the perspective of our faculty, uh, they view them uniformly the same as all of our residents. Most of the time, I don't think they're able to distinguish them at all from our resident body. Uh, they, they view them also as being one of the group, but I often hear from our residents that it's a real plus to have the Nossum residents join us. And I think that's because they bring a really interesting perspective from their work in the community-based hospitals and, and also their work in areas that are geographically separate from CHEO. Uh, and, you know, looking after populations and sizes of populations that are slightly different from us, uh, that have different needs, different perspectives about what it's like to practice medicine and pediatrics in those environments. And that perspective that's brought by the Nossum residents is really valuable for our residents. Our curriculum prepares us not just to be strong clinicians, but also to demonstrate our knowledge and abilities. We get together several times a year as a large group, um, residents and preceptors alike, to practice OSCEs to do the Canadian and American board exams and to do simulation-based acute care. NOSOM is great in terms of giving you study days so that you can study on your fourth year. They give you less call so that you can study. Um, and our program director, Dr. Tara Barron, also schedules uh, study sessions. But um, if you look at the graduates from NOSOM, a lot of them have got into subspecialties as well. So it trains you in both subspecialty pediatrics as well as general pediatrics. And so far we have a 100% pass rate with the Royal College exam. I think the record of our successful graduates, uh, many of whom have gone on to competitive fellowships, really speaks to the quality of our learners. I feel that being in a, a Northern-based training program really helped smooth out my transition to practice. I was used to working on a regular basis in a community consulting practice. Uh, I had an understanding of what sort of administrative or secretarial needs we'd have, uh, how I wanted my office physically to be set up, and a very good grasp of all the common core basic pediatric issues, how they're managed, and also a really great emphasis on how things are followed up in the long term, which you don't always get to see in a tertiary center. You see a patient deal with the situation and they go off usually to be followed by someone else. And I felt that the continuity that I was able to experience in the Northern program really allowed me a sense to understand how different problems develop, how they progress, and how to manage things in the long term. I really loved my experience at NOSM. Uh, I really do think it's the perfect balance between, you know, the autonomy you get in your northern sites and the tertiary care center. So if you're a medical student and you're interested in the NOSM pediatric program, we feel the best way to learn more about our program would be to come and do an elective with us. This would really give you a first-hand experience on what it's like to train at NOSM in northern Ontario. And those can be arranged by contacting the electives office at NOSM.
at the end of the day, I think training at the Nauston Pediatrics Residency Program means learning to be a complete pediatrician, ready to handle whatever comes through the door anywhere.